Welcome to Dark Sorcery. I'm Alfredo Martinez, and I have with me the one and only Gian Hughes. How you doing, Gian? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me again. It's always good to have you on. And last time Gian was on, we had we discussed the Satanic Bible. Now we're going to do a study on the Satanic Bible and go through here. Um, so yeah, uh, Gian, let's go ahead and turn to page 25. Okay. Okay, so let's go to page 25, and it's the nine satanic statements. And so let's go down to number seven. Satan represents man as just another animal, sometimes better, more often worse than those that walk on all fours, who, because of his divine spiritual and intellectual development, has become the most vicious animal of all. Which, I guess, if you think about it, um, you know, that allows us to. I, I, we've we've got this ego thing where we think we're, you know, at the top of the food chain of everything, and we just have to, you know. And again, that, you know, the, we we tend to have a, a tendency to uh, destroy things. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I think I think, uh, and and you know, this is a uh, this really comes from a good place of a, you know, like uh, let's for example, you could say like a wolf pack. You could say they're vicious. They're they're visceral. They're they are they're ripping apart like a, a deer or something. For to, but they're doing it to survive, you know. And uh, it's just one animal, you know, a group of animals attacking another animals. But a wolf pack or any kind of four legged animal didn't create a nuclear bomb and blows up a whole city. Right? <laughs> I mean, so so you know, I think our, our intellect. What he's you know what he's alluding to here is our intellectual <laughs> development. I mean, no. you know, a, a wolf, you know. These animals, we, we might see a picture of you know of, of uh, anything you know lions or, or any kind of predatory animal in the in the wild, and like they 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 might seem vicious, but they're just doing that to survive. You know, a butcher. You know, if we go to the butchers, that, that's what humans do all the time, right? They cut up meat. You most yeah. people eat meat, uh, even if you don't eat meat. You know, you could you could say that that when you plow a field to grow stuff, you kill toads, you kill all kinds of little animals. You know, yeah. But uh, but that's just sustenance. You know. Humans go out of their way to just wipe out whole civilizations, whole countries, whole cultures, whole generations, you know, genocide. And like, so that's what I think he was, that's what I, when I read that, that's what I think he's, you know, because, because of us, you know, and in a sense, it may be an agreement that, you know, that we are kind of like half animal and half God, you know, because I mean, that is a godly thing to do to create technology to a scale to, to kill, you know, hundreds of thousands of people with one device, you know, and, and it's really, well, yeah. You you, know? <laughs> you mentioned the wolf pack about them, you know, being very, you know, very vicious and tearing uh, another human or another animal to shreds, whereas a human will go ahead and invent something that will destroy the whole forest, you yeah. know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, I mean, I think I think that the environmental and then the wars, I mean, look at the stuff that we've done in the, in the last century, you know, I mean, that's just, you don't, you don't see animals uh, caging other animals and systematically killing them like they did in the Holocaust and things like that, or yeah. Or even even in the United States with the slavery and and the way that the, the racism here, you know, that they 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 just uh you know like section off people and just marginalize them and eventually just you know make their lives so bad that they either do something where you know where where they have to go to real prison or whatever and they get all their freedom taken away or they just die. Well, die you well, know, not animals animals will kill something you know out of necessity and humans will just kill just to kill it. You know. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I think it's it's the intellectual thing. You know, in our minds, we're thinking, you know, uh, we're trying to get, we're trying to, we're trying to like get better things or something. You know, we're right. we're trying to like make the species better or whatever. You know, I mean, then and, and that's a, that's a, a really bad slope that people go down when they're, you know, then they they go to like, what do we do with the mentally ill or the criminals or people that we don't think are so smart or so. You, you know, know, you you have a you have a, a picture of the uh, something from the Matrix. Uh, behind you you know there was a statement that agent smith made where you know something that there's something that goes around and just you know destroys and destroys and he says well that's a you know humans but then again that's also a virus you know yeah what I mean? yeah that was you know yeah it wasn't verbatim but i i just thought that would uh no no i mean that I, makes, that. I think i think you know and that and that's the big that's the big uh thing that from the matrix and terminator and these other and they're they're showing it, and I think it's prophetic. Uh, you know that 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 machines are 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 you know the next step to that. You know, and I think humans may, uh, you know, within the next thirty years, twenty years, who knows? Within our lifetimes, probably, uh, you know, get get 
the idea that you know you could mix your your yourself with AI or cybernetics or some kind of technology, and we could you know do our lifespan in 200, 300 years. And I think a lot of people would be like, okay, yeah, sure. But then, you know, they don't maybe don't realize the consequences of just 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 natural human minds created nuclear bombs and wars. You know, World War One, two, yeah, three. I... We're, we're we're having uh you know uh, uh, a lot of conflict in the world now, even you know with Ukraine and all that kind of stuff. And there's constantly wars, and wars are not. We don't need. We don't have to have wars. You know. I mean, that's just like something that we think we have to do. You know. Right. It's that, that people don't eat any better because Russia attacked Ukraine. You know, and people suffered worse because of World War Two and World War One and all that stuff. They they didn't like weren't doing that because they like were getting their food taken away. They were just doing it because they were getting invaded and stuff. You know. And right. Yeah. Okay. Well, moving on. Um, now, before I go to another page, I want to point out that the book is designed is. Um, it's divided into four sections. So you have the introduction, then you have the book of Satan, you have the book of Lucifer, the book of Belial, the book of Leviathan. Why do you think that he you divided it into those four and chose uh, those four specifically? I, I believe he's, he's uh, playing on the elements. And, uh, and uh, he was, he was uh, you know, I, I'm sure he had studied the Golden Dawn and more Christian based, more, more uh, white light or, or, or right hand path type of things. And, you know, they use angels for those different things. You know, they have Michael and, and Uriel and all the different ones. And, uh, uh, and then, you know, going a step further in, in, a, in a lot of occult systems, we have different things, you know, just elements. You know, could say there's gnomes or, or dwarves or for the earth and, you know, there, there's mermaids for the water, well, you know. So I, I believe he was he was using the the, the uh, Christian uh, type of like anti-Christian mythology and and actual names of, of things in the in the uh, Bible or or, or, or uh, things you know so he, he he assigns water to the Leviathan which is like this big water creature right. you know and uh, and so he he's using the elements but he's taking you know the the, the like a satanic almost like an anti-Christian thing and saying that you know Lucifer is is air you know and uh, because it you know that would that would make more sense kind of like to him he's He's yeah, he, like, does li he does list the elements at the beginning of the books, Book of Satan, yeah. Fire, and, and so forth. The elements, I think that's yeah. what he was trying to do. Yeah. Okay. And, um, okay, moving on, let's go to page 31. And on page 31, this is in the Book of Satan, uh, verse 7, it says, He that is slow to believe anything and everything is of great understanding. And I like that he pointed that out because there's so many gullible people in society that just believe without, you know, just wholeheartedly just right away. Um, and, you know, Christianity does teach you to, you know, have blind faith. You know, I believe, yeah. I believe, I believe. I think you should question everything. What, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. Is, I, I, yeah. What I think do you think? This is a very good passage for today. For, for oh, yeah. today. And it's, 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 it's actually kind of like almost flip the script and become more of a, on the liberal side or the anti-Christian side or the, or the pagan side, because a lot of people will, will, will just take something, you know, cause I'm on a TikTok or witch talk and stuff. They'll just yeah. take something and they'll just like run with it. And like, or, or like, or like I was on this other, you know, and this is about my social scenes here in LA. Somebody put a, a social media post saying that somebody was a rapist. And I was just like, well, hold on. Well, who was that? You know, what, what's the whole thing? And yeah. was the police involved? I mean, what, what's going on? And they're like saying, no, no, you can't question the, the the rape victim. You can't. You're you're defending a rapist. And I was like, I don't know any rapists, man. Right? I mean, I'm just asking, well, who was this? What happened? And, yeah. I, and I was like, is it fair to say, you know, if somebody is, you know, I mean, in, in, in this modern age, you know, because I started going out in the 80s. We didn't have any house phones. We didn't have anything. You know, everybody has a distress signal. I mean, if somebody's being attacked, sexually attacked, I mean, why didn't they call 911 before, during or after? Why exactly. are they just putting that on social media like a month later? And then everybody's going like dogpiling on it, saying, "Oh, you got to believe this. You got to." It's like, well, I don't know. I mean, I maybe it's true, and maybe I'm, you know. But I think we should be skeptical. I mean, we can't convict people of crimes, especially sex crimes, and and stigmatize them just by a social media post. You know, um, that's just you know, see that happening all the time. You know, the cancel yeah, culture, it, all that. You know, it goes deeper than that, and I think that you know, social media has helped things, but it's also made people. Um, I think it's brought their attention span down a little bit and maybe got people a little lazy because, you know, back in the day, you know, before the internet, you know, we had books, you had to go to the library, you had to yeah. go to the bookstore, you had to do research, you had to go 
flip through the the encyclopedia and the dictionary and that took discipline mm -hmm. and a lot of people just don't have that and they just just because someone makes a post online they just okay well that must be true well it yeah. goes deeper than that you know and, yeah. So, I mean, all those ones that were, they were saying that people, older celebrities like Betty White and those kind of things, where, where they yeah. died and they they didn't die. I mean, I just it's just somewhat believable. And people, oh, yeah, and then if someone if someone goes on Facebook and says, oh, R R.I.P. So and so. And then there's yeah. a whole bunch of people. Oh, yeah. Well, they they didn't really, you know, even though Betty White, Betty White did die. But I mean, I'm sure when that yeah, post yeah. was made there was so many before she died, yeah, she did die. Like 10 I've years. seen that done with Morgan Freeman and other celebrities. It's like, hey, yeah, yeah, they, they they're do not that. dead. It's almost like it's almost like I don't even know why they do it anymore because it's like people <laughs> you know, even believe I, it. Yeah, it's. A, <laughs> I think people just do it just to get a reaction out of people, just because they're bored. Because they know yeah, so many yeah, people will exactly. just believe it. Or there, I think there is a certain part of the population. And this kind of ties into the Book of Satan too. Uh, uh in some parts, I, we were talking about uh, before before the show. The, yeah. the stupidity, you know, like stupidity is, is is a big sin in satanism you know they don't because they, and that's and that's people being gullible people just you know reading yeah. like online and that and that's becoming our culture it's really sad you know because i'm like i'm like you know people need to research these things you know and uh and maybe there is horrible things that happen but that you know th th there has to be some kind of substance other than just typing it out on social it's, media it's good to be slow horrible. to believe anything and everything um yeah yeah you know understanding is so much better than just having knowledge so, yeah, yeah, I think there's a certain but, part. That, that this is why where the, the 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 joke memes or whatever almost come in, like a, you know, like 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 that the, those auto calls that tell you that your warranty is expiring. Oh yeah, 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 Everybody's using this joke, but there must be a certain amount of population that's dumb enough to like fall for that, or they wouldn't keep doing it. Yeah, <laughs> they they yeah, that's why they keep doing it because it's those gullible people that yeah, just yeah. are quick to believe everything yeah. that they get yeah. conned out of their money that way. Yeah. So. Yeah. But uh so anyway, uh turn the page and let's go on 32 and let's go down to verse 14. It says, The lie that is known to be a lie is half eradicated, but the lie that even intelligent persons accept is fact. The lie that has been incalculated, incal inculcated, excuse me, in a little mm -hmm. child at its mother's knee is more dangerous to contend against than a creeping pestilence. Mm. So if, if you repeat something enough, a lie enough to somebody as a child, you know, that's much more dangerous than, you know, some wild animal or, you know, another oh, threat. And I think I think this this goes into where he's get, coming from with Christianity. And, uh, uh, yeah. you know, because, you know, there's certain things people just assume a lot of people, you know, maybe modernly it's a little less because we we have a little bit more of an intellect and, and, a, and a, a system. But at least when he was writing this in the 60s, you know, up to the 60s, you know, uh, people just assume, you know, well, my mother told me that Jesus died and came back from the dead and he must have. I mean, I wasn't there and they don't even have the concept that it was so 2000 years ago. Right. It's like maybe that just happened. And um, I just wasn't before I was born sometime. It doesn't matter how long ago. And it, and people are just just run with these these things, which really Whoa. is even a lie, a legend, you know, the, these, you know, all these, you know, all these stories are just, what I think is ridiculous is that if you know, a Christian will say, yeah, you know, the whole mythology of Christianity, Jesus died, resurrected and so forth. And you say, okay, well, you start, you start asking questions and sometimes they'll say, well, don't question God. Yeah. How, how am I supposed to be sure of this? You yeah. know, yeah. And, it, and, and if you take, you know, if you take the average um, youth group or in a church, in a Christian church or mm -hmm. someone who's been there for years, you know, in church and you say, OK, well, we'll uh, go ahead and, and uh, where does it say that in the Bible? And, and, yeah, you know, they don't understand. They don't. Some of them don't even haven't even read the whole Bible. You know what oh, I mean? No, they don't they, even, and they haven't, they, they won't even, they couldn't even begin to tell you where it is. You know, they just most, believe that. Yeah, mo most of the time, uh, and, and this, and and most places, uh, uh, and, and it, it's not just Christians, but especially with Christians, you know, like there's this one passage, uh, cause you know, I used to be a Christian and I knew the Bible really well. I read it a lot and I, and I processed it. So there was somebody who was doing a, 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 a sermon about no one's ever seen God. Because it says that in the book of John, right? In the, in the gospel of John, it says nobody has ever seen God, right? And then I go, well, hold on a minute. What about Moses? You know, Moses, yeah, he, he, did. Saw, he saw the backside of God, right? <laughs> he, saw, right. he saw God as a burning bush. He saw what are prophets if nobody ever sees God, right? 
uh, Moses, you know, saw God as a burning bush and they gave him the commandments. He saw yeah. the backside of God. And that's the famous uh, picture of God's ass or whatever with the, with the uh, yeah. Michelangelo, to, you know, so like, like, you know, but it, it just stumped people because it's like, it, they're different books. People don't realize these are different books. They're, they're a codex, you know, it's, it's different books and different authors and different from, from thousands different of timelines. And, you know, the, it, if you look at the Bible that way, there's a lot of different contradictions you know, oh, in the Bible that people don't even catch, you know, they studied this book for years, but yet they don't say put two and two together. They just believe what, you know, what sermons people in Sunday school say or televangelists. Yeah. Okay. Well, if they say it, it must be true, they have look deeper into it. People don't, don't ignore that part. You know, this is what you really should believe. I mean, it's almost like the pastor's an, an interpreter, you know, he's transliterating the transliteration, you know, because, you know, like there's, there's a lot of things that people don't realize from the old writings. It's, and, Crap, this kind of relates to what, what this is, too, is the lies. Like, it's not so much lies, but people assume because modernly we have a way to, like, kind of, like, store text uh, electronically or even, even yeah. like, in the and stuff. They don't realize that that didn't exist back in the old days. You know what I mean? So, so like, the, the, the Greek Bible, the Iliad and the Odyssey, right? That, that was what the yeah. Greeks used the Bible. That has some parts that, that, are, that are interchanged with the Christian or the, or the, the Jewish Bible and stuff. You know, like. Like Eris throwing the, the apple to the goddesses, the forbidden fruit uh, theme, you know? And like people don't realize that the, the Greek was lost and that was translated from, from, from Muslims. You know, Muslims actually had it in writing and it was an oral history. So so even, even the books that we think are, are classically pagan, like the Iliad and the Odyssey, were transliterated by Christians with their ideas, or or at least Abrahamics, because Muslims. You know, well, I mean, you can tell you can tell you know when you compare the Old Testament to the New Testament that it's it's authors from a completely different mindset. Oh yeah, you, know, for you sure. can tell it's completely separate. And that ties um, into the Muslim and everything of you know like a lot of people believe that the serpent was another god trying to help us, you know, and I, I've mentioned that before, and the, and the god saying no, don't eat that fruit to Eve and Adam, that was the actual oppressor, the demiurge, you know. And so that ties into that, I believe, you know, and that, but that whole thing has been eradicated as heresy. It's people don't even think like that anymore until they, they, they read a book, you know, because then right. people are like, oh, that's nonsense. No way. You know? People just need to read more and, and look into things more for themselves. Yeah, so for let's, themselves uh, and not be afraid of something bad happening to them after they die or something, because that's just a spiritual trick or spiritual intimidation. I think it is. Know? It is a trick. Okay. Mm -hmm. So moving on to page 35. All right. And let's go to verse 10. Uh, Blessed is the man who has a sprinkling of enemies, for they shall make him a hero. Cursed is he who doeth good unto others who sneer upon him in return, for he shall be despised. Which, you know, if you do do good for people who do bad to you, you know, in some, you know, minimal instances, it can, you know, get make things a little better. But yeah. for the most part, people are just going to take advantage of you. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. And, yeah. you know, it, it's not good to uh, turn the other cheek. What do you think? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think that's where he's going with this for sure. You know, and, and also on that, I think, you know, uh, if everybody's, you know, if, if a person is like liked by everybody, supposedly, you know, it's probably fake, you know? I it mean, is. There's, even even if there's people that, that, that are legitimately pr pretty much do the right thing all the time and this and that. If anything, jealousy will creep in and people will talk about it or try to make something up or at least say, oh, they're just doing that because there's no such thing as altruism. You know, I mean, you're doing you're doing good things to people because you makes you feel good. You know, it's really all about you, you know, and it, I mean, you know, that's an argument that people could make. There's no such thing as altruism because people do get some kind of like buzz or, or, or neurotransmitter dopamine right. rush when they see a homeless person say, here, here's some food or here's here's some money. That makes them feel good about themselves and it makes them feel like, you know, uh, that so having enemies, I think. And I think this goes along with the left hand path and everything. Um, you know, we see it. I mean, luckily, I, I found my little tribe, and you know, with me and you and other people. We got a network yeah. going pretty, pretty uh, stable. But a lot of people in this in these things, you know, they, they do. They they, they uh, try to troll or they try to like if somebody's getting popular, we were just talking about we don't want to mention names, but. Somebody's getting popular. They, they they start attacking that person for just making things up, just so they can like you know get some attention to themselves or make their own selves look good or whatever you know. So I mean, it's very common to have enemies within the left hand path because and, and also people are on their guard. People don't want to look weak. Or you or, need or, you need enemies. I think it's you know and 
It's just, uh, again, I think it's just, you know, get the positive and the negative charge for a battery. You need the negative charge. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, but, I did a video about this. I mean, I think when people get a lot of negative attention from their parents in relationships, they, you know, if, they, if they're giving positive stuff to pe someone, even if, whether it's romantic or friendship, they're giving positive things. They don't feel like they're getting back enough. Then they go negative, you know, to get negative attention. And, because um, it's it's just the pattern, the pattern yeah, of existence. It's subconscious. A lot of times it's subconscious, I think, because, you know. You know, it, it, in a sense, it's like if you if you only want positivity and no negativity, it's like you're going against nature because nature yeah. balances the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And any any energies, if, 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 uh, if you know, if you know how to like do chaos magic or whatever, negative or positive or any kind of energies can be transformed to, to help yourself or charge your sigils or whatever you want to do with it you know it's still energy yeah it's yeah you can it, you can be put its use it's where you channel it is is yeah because yeah. it it some kind of passion some kind of care they're just doing negative things to get your attention instead of positive but uh you know the, the opposite of all that is just indifference finding something else and ignoring the person so if you really don't want to like somebody just ignore them that's the worst thing you can do to them you don't give yeah. them any don't feed the troll. Don't then they'll the they'll go try to get uh, do that to somebody else to get a reaction out of them. They'll get if somebody get a reaction, which is probably, which most of the time we want, especially if it's somebody trying to drag us down or whatever, you know. Okay, so let's go to page forty-five. All right, this is in the book of Lucifer, and let's see. This is a passage I highlighted here. It says, "It." Uh, if he hates himself, he searches out new and more complex spiritual paths of enlightenment in hopes that he may split himself up again in his quest for stronger and more externalized gods to scourge his poor, miserable shell. If he accepts himself but recognizes that ritual and ceremony are the important devices that his invented religions have utilized to sustain his faith in a lie, then it is the same form of ritual that will sustain his faith in the truth, the primitive pageantry that will give his awareness of his own majestic being added substance. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I, I, you know what th that brings to mind um, is uh, I saw an interview with Anton and he was saying that, you know, a lot of these occult systems, uh, almost all occult systems or magic systems or whatever is kind of yeah. like a create your own God kit. You know, and 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 you're using <laughs> you're using your 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 soul, you know, because we're all potential gods, you know. That's right. why that, I have a problem with people that say, you know, I understand where they're coming from to a certain degree, saying that all this is atheist, you know. But he's talking about conjuring spirits. I mean, isn't like a spirit just like a, a you know an idea of a real big spirit is a god, you know? I mean, it's just a human labeling these things, you know. So so if you believe in spirits, then probably you believe in some kind of gods or demigods or whatever you want to call them, or watchers, egregores, whatever, you know? Right. Well, the thing is, this book does, you know, does teach uh, magic, you know, causing change in accordance with your will. But uh, I definitely see what you're saying here. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that's so. So that's the thing. Yeah, it was interesting for him to say that, that, that you know, magic and occult systems, because, yeah, you're, you're, the only thing you really got to work with is your own spirit, your own, your own soul. All these other things are just ways to figure out how to like, you know, like, why are we here? You know, we get into these bodies to I mean, learn about. The point is to look inward. You know, the, the the problem with, you know, monotheism is it doesn't allow you to look inward so much. It allows you to look externally and then just, you know, basically, you know, pander to, you know, whatever external force it tells you to. You know, mm -hmm. if you if you look inward, you will find that external force within you, you know, and you don't need to search out anymore. Yeah. So. I think that, that yeah, this this section I really like the the God yeah. you save yourself. Uh, it's really good, and and he also talks about then this is like you know because a lot of people have an idea that they and this is the, this is the whole thing we're talking about being, about being gullible and kind of stupid is a uh, you know people will read online well you know Levian Satanism is atheistic, and then they'll they'll throw up you know I had this on TikTok so people are like Satanism has nothing to do with Satan but he mentions Satan all these times I mean, even if it's a metaphor it's still you're using the word Satan. So it's like it has something to do with that concept, you know? Well, you know, it, he also mentions in the book, you know, at some point that, you know, Satan was not, the you know, the term Satan was not given a negative connotation until Christianity came along. Yeah. You know, because yeah. then you needed an opponent. You needed an adversary. Yeah, you know? yeah. So the definition kind of changed once, you know, Christianity came along and did its thing. 
Yeah, and the main play, the main book he's mentioned that Satan is mentioned in is is Job, and he's not so much he, he he's he's more like saying you know like, uh, like a district attorney. You know, he's saying, oh, this person right. only because you're giving him good a good life. If, you, if Job doesn't have a good life, then he's not going to love Seems you. He's more like impartial to the situation rather than, you know, yeah. someone just negative. Yeah. Um. Let's go over to. Let's go to page 49. And on page 49, it says at the bottom paragraph, when okay. a puppy reaches maturity, it becomes a dog. When ice melts, it is called water. When 12 months have been used up, we get a new calendar with the proper chronological name. When magic becomes scientific fact, we refer to it as medicine, astronomy, etc. cetera. Um, you know, and a lot of the a lot of the concepts that we speak about as occultists, um, you know, people, I would say, people in the church will be talking about as fact, you know, and discussing themselves later on, until finally, eventually, the religion is just done away all with altogether, or a new one has come to replace it to, you know, bring in to lure in the gold. With people. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, this this is this is a um, what what. I did a video uh, and I was kind of inspired not by this and other ideas uh, is that, you know, that, that when we get results and we, and we somewhat know how those results came to be, we call it technology. Usually right. or, or these scientists, medicine, astronomy, those are forms of technology, forms of science. When we get the results and we don't know, you know, have any idea, we call it magic, you know, because like, you know, uh, you know, even, even psychologically. That's you know, a good you, way to put it. I like that. I mean, so so even psychologically, let's say like the the, the power of attraction or the, the law of attraction, uh, like whatever you think about, it, it manifests in your life. Thoughts become things. That's like a real common new age. Not even that much in the dark occult. It's just you know that's just what if you if you keep your thoughts that's straight, fact. you'll get those things. You know, that, well, Christians that's, will that's, interpret that as focus focus on focus on God or focus on positivity, and positivity will come yeah. back to you. But in a sense that we we can that's kind of been proven. So it's more like psychological technology than magic. You know. It's just like like our cell phones. We don't know how they're made or, or done. And we, we humans can't even make them. Now we have machines that can only make them. But we still trust everything we see on them. And it works, you know, because we're seeing each other yeah. on this device. We don't really know how it works totally, but we're not going to call it magic because we know it's not magic because it's technology it's, it's, to it's us. Just, it's micro micro circuitry and all that stuff. But now, if you go back 100 years, you know, that, you know, people would call it magic and, you know, oh. the Christianity would call it occultism. Yeah. I mean, I think if we if we went back even 100 years or even less, even in the 60s or whatever, uh, people would say, you know, we're like aliens, you know. Or like oh, yeah, starting, definitely. We're constantly looking at our phones to, to, to figure things out. We're, whereas you can, we, we, don't, we don't even have the concept, even even though I do, you know, because I'm older. But the concept of, of like if you wanted to find out a fact, you'd have to actually go to a library or have a set of encyclopedias to look it up. And these encyclopedias might be years old, but. Still, it has something on it, and that's where that's all your knowledge is. The stuff online, it's it's a double-edged sword. You know, you can find information that's like you know very new and everything, but then you can also find false information. You know, and uh, I so. think yeah, and I think that you know that's where life experience comes into play because if someone has more life experience, you know, they they can usually detect more bullshit than someone who's yeah. very young and hasn't yeah. had much, hasn't lived very long. Mm -hmm um let's go to page let's go to page 116 the book of belial and let's so uh first paragraph i'd say probably about middle of the paragraph it says uh it matters not whether anyone attaches any significance to your working so long as the results of the working are in accordance with your will uh, middle of the next paragraph it helps if the recipient has faith and believes in magic but the but the victim of a hex or curse is much more prone to destruction if he does not believe in it no one knows everything and as long as there is wonder there will always be an apprehension of the unknown where there are potentially dangerous forces mm -hmm. so that'll that'll keep you know on, on his his mind he'll just constantly be thinking about it you know because as long as there's wonder you know what i mean the curse is still gonna gonna work even if they scoff at it. What do you think? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I think, I think there's, you know, uh, that's a big thing of a, of, of a magic and occultism that people overlook is whatever you're thinking is just as important as whatever you're doing. You know, if you're drawing a pentagram and you're thinking about something, that's, that's like the other half of it, the unseen part. You know, that, that, yeah. uh, and 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 some of these rituals, you know, he's talking about more like you know rituals that have to do with you know like uh what people would do in the old days like writing pentagrams or writing you know geometric shapes or you know like this kind of like Solomonic type of stuff the golden yeah. dawn Alistair Crowley type things that he would draw and but I mean it could be like these are like you know this is like a, a this these these hundred dollar bill things you know these are these are talismans and if you if say I wanted to like say you know I'm mad and I want to curse somebody or I want to I want to just like say you know put some of them Hello? you go here's 100 nobody would turn that down but if i'm thinking okay i'm never going to be homeless because this guy's going to be homeless and i'm going to give him this as a way for him to like to take the homeless spirit for me put it on him and <laughs> a lot of times you know that 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 that's like a ritual that, that can happen i mean whatever when yeah. you're giving money you'll think what a chump what a sucker you're giving money away right but but you know if you're if i'm giving this and i'm and then thinking the whole time hey you know this everything bad you know i know people who do this you know they they get valuables and they put their bad energy into it and then they'll leave it like in a public place and whoever gets it don't has no idea and it's even better that they don't know right. and then they'll take <clears throat> on some bad energy bad karma you know get something that, that some well, people you know that's why it's so good to cleanse items when you get them from uh you know from a secondhand store you know yeah. for reasons like that and even if they don't intend to put bad energy in it they can uh -huh. do it just without knowing it. And, you know, they're completely oblivious to it. But mm -hmm. um, I understand you have some things you'd like to show uh, related to the Satanic Bible. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, so yeah, like like the last show I said, you know, I, I, I was uh, I was friends with Stanton, uh, which was Anton's gran grandson, Stanton LeVay. Uh, and, uh, you know, visited, uh, we, had, we had some uh, time together. So this is actually, uh, this, this is the, actually the, uh, the, nine satanic statements I, I see I, I get it I didn't realize it had a little bit of dust on it but uh and it's signed you know it's signed and everything it's really really cool uh I like also doing artwork this is this is a Lucifer rising poster like a little movie poster that uh you know mm -hmm. Kenneth anger uh did about about the the Satanism and stuff like that uh let's see yeah so this is this is kind of like cool it's a it's a it's a uh, almost like a uh, Andy Warhol thing. Yeah, and see, uh, these are all signed. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever part with them, but it's it's good to have this kind of stuff. That, that I have bigger posters, and then uh, I was showing uh, you know, I guess so. 2019, because this I believe the the Satanic Bible came out in, in uh, 1969, right? Uh, and the same year I was born, ironically, <laughs> right? So this is the 50th anniversary. It's 2019. It's older now, but in 2019 was 50th anniversary of the Satanic Bible being released. So here you see Anton with his uh with his uh you know his mace and his axe and stuff. Yeah. And here's a uh, here's you know him and hanging out with his uh his witches and uh we got yeah the, these pictures I think are great in here, you yeah. uh, know. some of the I, I believe the blonde woman is a uh, Diane, uh which was his, one of the blonde women here. <laughs> I guess there's multiple blondes in this one. But yeah, we got we got you know this stuff is uh, a yeah, I, I, like I, I mean it's for uh, it's suitable for framing i think some of it you know yeah uh, I remember you were showing me earlier before we started but i thought that uh people would like, want to see this stuff and yeah. you know you see you see the human altar and i, I think uh -huh. that's 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 something that was carried over from the middle ages use, using a, a a body An altar of flesh yeah altar of flesh because you know the whole idea was that you're you know the flesh is not good you know that our bodies are bad it's bad that we became humans because we like to we ate the fruit and we we became kind of like gods, but we should have like you know there was like a lot of like uh, shame that I think that they're trying to like get rid of, and also it goes along with the indulgence, you know. I mean, yeah. Uh, what he's saying is you know is is, is when people uh, suppress these these sexual urges or suppress these violent urges and turn the other cheek and don't do this and don't do that, it it just builds up and it and it comes out in other ways uh, that are even worse than if you just you know defended yourself or or, or, or was vengeful at the time. Like if somebody hits you and, you know, and we see that with PTSD and, and, and things like that, you know, I mean, it turns into like a In, it, indulgence as, as this book teaches, it does have a place. Yeah. Psychology supports this stuff. So I'm just showing these quick people can pause if they want to see more. It's, it's really interesting stuff. Uh, these are like original pictures. Uh, there, there's a, someone in a coffin, you know, and 
so I guess these are actually the, some of the rituals they were doing uh, with the black robes and the coffin. And they go into that a little bit, but we talked about, you know, there's other books that go into the rituals more. And yeah. I haven't I, I, the, or I read those when I was younger, but I, I haven't brushed up on them for a while. But there's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think, that, let's see, I think I got some other ones here. Uh, some of this, some of this stuff too was the original artwork that Anton did for a, a he had like these magazines kind of thing that uh were you know we don't have those so much anymore because we're out in print you yeah know, like, got a, it, we're, we're signed by him and anna stanton and here's another one at andy warhol type deal <laughs> i like that one yeah uh i guess this was actually the name of a magazine that he put out the cloven hoof uh so he did some artwork for that and uh we got a nice uh signed picture of him uh you know yeah Pretty if cool. i was you i would hold on to those i wouldn't even sell them i'd be like oh you know, yeah, yeah. And, and just I, to have them I, I, I value too because you know i mean i i miss uh stanton and uh he was a friend and uh you know i don't i don't like to talk too much about it because you know he, he passed and uh i don't know how much of his uh of, you know his family that's still or you know his wife and or his widow and stuff they want me to like elaborate on things we did or whatever but you know I, I'm, I'm i'm planning on possibly going to a event of theirs and seeing if we if we could get more of them on uh, our shows and i can talk more freely about it because you know out of respect you know i don't want to be like we did this we did that we hang we talked about that well, and that's, did, that's the right way of going about it I yeah think. yeah so yeah so, we have a an event and uh we could probably put some links uh i i believe uh let's see the 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 website uh is called baphomet x here and uh, I believe they also yeah. have an Etsy, and they sell all these things uh, online. Uh, they're probably, you know, I don't know what 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 the deal well, is. I now. myself am going to check that website out. And, and yeah, yeah, bathmetx.com, and uh, and then the, there's also an Etsy. So I'll send you the links. Maybe we can link them. I, I think yeah, I'll find... put the, I'll put the links below in the video description. Yeah, yeah, put it put in the description and uh, so because I because I know that Sharon is still selling uh this this kind of stuff uh along with other things, you know, uh they they have their, they have their uh. uh a really cool like pentagram and a lightning bolt that's like their symbol i guess is a is an inverted pentagram with the, the two horns up with the lightning bolt going through it showing like the power kind of thing and so okay. you know i uh yeah i mean i i i i, I like this stuff uh you know it doesn't mean I, I think in the end you know it doesn't mean that somebody's bad just because they like this i mean i think it's just they're going along with uh with you know kind of human nature and you know what they you know it's, it's natural if somebody does things bad or acts stupid around you for you to go, oh, this is annoying, right? <laughs> and then the Christian way of teaching was be like, you got to tolerate that. You got to, if somebody, you know, <laughs> bad there, you, there's, there's no room for bullshit and Satanism. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Well, and, and I think that's, that's the whole thing is, you know, people, people defend themselves, you know, uh, even Christian, you know, you see, you see like, uh, we have, remember like 9-11, you know, I mean, you're, 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 you're you remember 9-11, like yeah. we didn't, yeah, they're cheap you know we, we 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 went to war with two other nations that didn't even probably do that you know <laughs> I mean, we right just, that's, the whole that's another discussion right there but uh, but it's it's but, you know, uh it's been great having you on um and uh i always like uh discussing this book um and everybody check out um uh, guillotine productions uh guillotine's uh uh platforms and stuff i'll have all the links below uh yeah. Gian, thanks again for coming on yeah thanks a lot all right everybody like and subscribe to dark sorcerer